Volkswagen's updated rear-wheel drive crafter range is a lot less aggressive looking than its predecessors, thanks to the redesigned front end. It has a shallower grille sandwich between new headlamp clusters which feature daytime running lights as standard. It remains available at three gross vehicle weights, 3, 3.5 and 5 tonnes, and can be had with a choice of short, medium or long wheelbase. There's also a maxi option, which adds a 400mm extended rear overhang to the long wheelbase. Load volumes start at 7.5 cubic metres and go all the way up to 17, while gross payloads start at 1044kg and peak at 2693kg. Cab occupants are protected by a full height steel bulkhead as standard. Despite the previous generation 5-cylinder crafter engines meeting Euro 5 emission levels and surpassing them in some cases, Volkswagen has consigned them to the annals of history. They have been replaced by a 4-strong lineup of 4-pot 2-litre TDI diesels, which bear an uncanny resemblance to those powering the Transporter, recently introduced Amarok pickup and even the odd caddy derivative. Available at outputs of 109, 136 and 163 horsepower and developing peak torque of 300, 340 and 400 newton meters respectively, they will be joined by a 143 horsepower variant later in the year. Not only do all these engines meet Euro 5, they also qualify for the stringent EEV status out of the box. Volkswagen is heavenly promoting the new Blue Motion technology models, which carry a price premium of just £300 over their non-Blue equivalents. They feature an automatic stop-start system, longer rear axle final drive ratio, cruise control and battery regeneration. Drivers familiar with the previous Crafter will immediately feel at home in its successor. Slightly darker upholstery has been employed to keep it looking smarter for longer and the instrument binnacle has been updated to match that of the transporter. But apart from that, it's business as usual. The cab interior is still on the dower side, but it's ergonomically sound and there's no denying the fit and finish and the quality of the materials used. Fire up the engine and gone is the thrum of the five-cylinder diesel, replaced by a much quieter, smoother and talkier driving experience. Gear change quality for the manual six-speeder could be smoother, but it's by no means a hindrance. Ride and handling are well up to that of the competition, and power steering is well weighted with sufficient feedback. Braking is excellent thanks to the all-round discs, and crafters come fitted with Bosch's latest generation all-inclusive ESP system. As well as a panel van and seven-seater crew cab van, Crafter can be had as a window van, chassis cab and chassis crew cab. The latter two can be used as the basis for a range of off-the-shelf conversions, including dropside, tipper and Luton bodies. Volkswagen approved converters can also offer a variety of other conversions like minibuses and refrigerated vehicles. Crafter's midlife makeover can be counted as a real success. The new four-cylinder engine lineup brings with it greater levels of refinement, improved fuel economy and reduced maintenance costs. Add these to well-priced Blue Motion models and Crafter is a serious large panel van contender.